we earlier discussed how to solve truss problems using the method of joints. The principle behind this approach is that if a truss is in equilibrium, then each of its joints must be in equilibrium as well. We drew a free body diagram of each joint and wrote two equations of equilibrium and then solve these problems. Method of joints is a simple and straightforward approach. But you also realize that it is a time consuming approach as you have to go through each joint of a truss. Sometimes you want to quickly find the force experienced by a single member or a few members in the truss. You can certainly use method of joints, but it will take time. Is there an easier way? Well, it turns out we can use method of section for this purpose. The method of section consists of passing an imaginary line through the truss, cutting into two sections. Each section must be in equilibrium if the entire truss is in equilibrium. In method of joints, we dealt with two equations. There was no moment equation. In the method of sections, we are dealing with sections which have certain size or I would say finite size. So we can perform two-dimensional rigid body equilibrium analysis. This means we will have three equations and therefore we can solve for three unknowns. Since this method allows solving for up to three unknown forces at a time, you should choose the sections wisely. You should cut through no more than three members at a time. Take a look at this truss. Let us say we want to determine the forces in member BD and BC. To solve this problem, we will follow a step-by-step -step approach. First, we draw the free body diagram of the entire structure and solve for the support reactions. Now, cut the structure through the members of interest. In our case, we are interested in members BD and BC. However, we can't actually split the structure into two sections by cutting through two members. In this case. So I am going to cut through three members BC, BD and AC. Take, take a look at what happened now. We have now two sections, a section on the left and a section on the right. We can use any section for our calculation but I want to do the least amount of work. So I will choose the left section in this case. Take a look at the free body diagram of this section. There are three unknown forces, member forces BD, BC, and AC. Although I can figure out the directions of these forces, I don't want to waste my time doing that. I'm going to assume that all members in this structure are in tension as shown in this free body diagram. I can now write three equations. Sum of all the forces along x-axis and y-axis must be zero. In addition, I also can write a moment equation, sum of all the moment about point A is equal to zero. I can now solve these three equations and determine the member forces. After solving, please provide the answers indicating if each member is in tension or compression. Let us now take a look at some examples. 